Hey guys, it has been 10 months since starting my weight loss journey and today I'm going to show you my latest body measurements and comparison photos. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm That Fat Guy, and this week has been a very big week for me. Uh, it marks 10 months since I have started my weight loss journey using the Man Shake, and also I hit a major milestone this week where I lost 50 kilos of total weight loss, and I'm absolutely wrapped with the results. If you are new to this channel, this is my weight loss journey. I do daily content in between vlogs and podcasts and live streams and all of that, uh, just you know, to keep myself publicly accountable and help me lose this weight. And it has just been the best thing I've ever done, ever. I am so, so happy to be where I am now, and I, I honestly just can't believe it. Like, let's just take a look at my first body measurement to now. Hey folks, I'm that fat guy. Thank you for coming back to another one of my videos. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm that fat guy. And hey guys, I'm that fat guy. It is pretty much on, bang on two months since I have started the man shake. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm that fat guy. Thanks for coming back. Welcome back to my channel. I'm that fat guy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm that fat guy and thank you for tuning in. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm that fat guy and today is a very special day for me because it is six months since hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm that fat guy and this is my weight loss journey hey guys I'm that fat guy welcome back to my channel uh, thank you so much for joining me today is welcome back to my channel I'm that fat guy and today is my nine month so yeah, that is a pretty major transformation if you ask me. That's uh, 50 kilos uh, heavier when I first started to now. I look like a completely different person. Like, you know, just in the face and like, you know, just uh, the hair, obviously. I've let the hair grow a little bit. And uh, yeah, I just, I couldn't be happy with the results and how it, like easy this weight loss journey has been. And I say easy in like the loosest sense of the word, yeah? Uh, no weight loss journey is easy, but there are weight loss journeys that are hard and I've done hard ones before where I've slogged it out of the gym five days a week and done all sorts of crazy diets where you know I eat you know those uh core muscle meals and it's just like literally just like uh you know what is it steamed chicken and brown a small bit of brown rice and I lived on that for a while and I've done intermittent fasting I've done all sorts of other things right and I've had varying levels of su success uh, this time I'm using the man shake, which is a meal replacement shake where you take uh, one to two meals of your day and you replace it with a high protein, low carbohydrate, low, low sugar, most importantly, and tasty shake that keeps you fuller for longer. And it just is going gangbusters. Uh, I replace my breakfast and lunch uh, with the man shake and uh, I have snacks throughout the day, so I'm not just, you know, having shakes, I'm actually eating stuff as well, like uh, on a, like for this last week, for example, uh, I would take with me two shakes to work, I'll take a mandarin, I'll take a man bar, which is a protein bar that the man shake make, uh, and I'll also have a little bit of trail mix, so that's like, you know, nuts and seeds and cranberries and a little bit of, you know, Belgian chocolate, and uh, at night, I'd have a bit of freedom when it comes to my dinners, you know, so I might well make myself a really wholesome good home cooked meal you know like a piece of steak with a great big pink bit of salad you know and if I want to have spaghetti bolognese I'll have spaghetti bolognese it just it, I can't I, like honestly guys like it just works is it it is a product that literally just does what it says it's gonna do and it's very rare you get something that works as well as that and I'm just yeah I just I, I honestly can't believe it so um, here are some comparison shots uh, from when I first started to now, right? So I, I look at that belly in that first one. Like it just is so round and bul bulbous, I guess you could call it. And um, you could see that I couldn't even stand straight. Like it, I had the massive fat guy hump on the back and even my back had just rolls of fat on it. I just couldn't believe it. And um, yeah, to now, like I just feel so much more confident. They're the same shorts as I'm wearing. So I've had to do them up real tight with the uh, the drawstring. Otherwise they're gonna just fall straight off. And they'll, that's the um, members only um, <laughs> version of those pictures. Um, but 
but it, yeah, it, it, the difference is astounding. It, it, it's in the pictures right there. Uh, as well, every month I take measurements of my body. So I you know, take neck, chest, tummy, arms, legs, uh, measurements to make sure that even if the scales aren't moving, right, I'm still getting progress in the millimeters and centimeters that I measure myself in. So um, uh, for, here's the measurements from last month and this month, and I've had a loss right across the board, across uh, except for my chest. So my chest remained the same, but everywhere else I've um, had a loss. Uh, the most significant would be around the waist. I lost three centimeters, and uh, yeah, I'm very happy with those results. And just for you know uh, your knowledge or you know your reference, here's when I first started the measurements to now like the tape measure didn't even fit around my chest and stomach like that's how fat I was I had to like double up the, uh, the tape measure and the tape measure goes to a meter and a half can you believe it uh, I don't know what that is in American it's like I don't know 25 feet <laughs> I honestly don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so th this weight loss journey, I have not been going to the gym to slog it out, do heavy weights or anything like that, even though that's something I love doing. But in terms of working out and exercise, when I first started my weight loss journey, I was 160 kilos, that's 350 some pounds. And I just, like, it, movement, movement and exercise for me was not very an easy thing to do. So I just started with a simple goal. I, um, I, I've got one of these smart watches that measures my steps. I looked at the amount of steps that I do on a daily basis for work. And then I'll just add maybe, I think I just added 2,000 steps on top of that. So I did like 4,000 steps in a day normally just around the office going to work and coming home and then i added a half an hour walk in at lunch which is about 2000 steps when i was really fat and uh that was my goal 6000 steps a day that is it and the man shake and uh every week i treat myself to a celebration meals i call it some people call it cheat meals or treat meals um i don't like cheat meal in first guilt but anyway uh so like every week i'd have like some really big food that i really love and it you know would reset my brain i'm like yeah yeah life is good i can still eat this food and uh yeah, uh, and I lost a whole bunch of weight. And uh, when it started to slow down, I was like, okay, I'm gonna progress my goal, 8,000 steps a day. And now it's currently 10,000 steps a day that I'm trying to get. And I work on, on an average across the week. So I understand that not every day you're gonna be able to get out there and go for a walk or whatnot. So you're gonna be caught up doing stuff, life is life. So uh, I make it an average across the week so I can make that up. So one day I might get 15,000 steps, but the next day I might get only eight or something like that. So I can average it across so then i got a baseline of activity across the entire week so um i feel that the way that i'm doing this weight loss journey is a lot more calculated a lot like a lot smarter and more a lot more customized to how i work and my my body and like not doing weights uh even though it would be hugely beneficial to me i know that i will push for heavy weights and then i'll start eating higher protein i'll start eating more because i want to gain muscle and then my mind will start playing tricks on me because the scales might you know not move or they might go up because i might be gaining muscle and that uh, and i don't want to play that game at all i don't want to stress about that i want to lose the fat first and then gain the muscle so uh, i've had a lot of people say to me i should really be changing my channel name uh, I, I really do like that fat guy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really, really nice name. Um, I like it. Uh, a bit self-deprecating, but you know, it's a bit of fun. Uh, so I think I might just change it to that not so fat guy soon. <laughs> Um, but I still, uh, don't worry. Like, I mean, it's cut off here, but I'm still plenty fat. <laughs> 110 kilos, I mean, you have to be. But uh, yeah, uh, I wanted to show you those measurements and those uh, comparison photos like I do every month. And uh, just want to you know, celebrate the fact that it's in 10 months and I'm still going strong. Uh, I, I have n no doubt in my mind that using the man chain and doing what I'm doing, I'm gonna get to the point that I need to be. And I'm feeling wrapped with that. Uh, and speaking of the man shake, uh, every Monday at 8.30 p.m., that's Australian Eastern Standard Time, or right now it's Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, uh, you can tune into the Manshake Facebook page for a segment that uh, we call Man Talk. It's like a video podcast where we talk about all things weight loss. You know, we throw it out to the audience, ask questions, and uh, we do giveaways and all that. We've got a very special guest joining us on uh, ne the Monday. That's tomorrow. Uh, it's Adam McDougall himself. If you're not familiar with Adam McDougall, he is a, um, a 
he was a professional rugby league uh, player for the Newcastle Knights and a few other clubs. He uh, was a New South Wales Origin player. He was also, uh, he played for Australia and he is the creator of the man shake and he's going to come on for a live video podcast uh, where you can throw questions to him and he'll answer a few that we'll uh, uh, we'll ask him and it's going to be great it's going to be a lot of fun but uh, ladies and gentlemen I, I've been talking for nine minutes I really do appreciate your time thank you so much for being a part of my channel if you haven't already please click that subscribe button and give us a like as well and for those who are returning subscribers you guys are amazing without this without your support I wouldn't have made it this far so I really do appreciate your time I love every single one of you and there's absolutely nothing that you can do about it.